Please just be seated. Psalms 122. Uh, the first verse. Psalms 122. The first verse, then I will talk something about when, uh, according to how the Lord will grant me. Now, in Asema, I was glad when they said unto me, Narifrahia walipo niambia, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Na tuende nyumbani mwabwana. Amen. Na kabla tuanze, naomba tuomu. Before we start, let's pray. Mungu pensi na baba yetu, makushukuru, kwa nema yako wa baba, kwa hivyo, enu utu, uweko maani hapa, na kusoma maani kwa haya. Naomba, uyakunue maani kwa haya, hili kwa mba mungu, sote tunapotoka maani hapa, kutoke tuki wa tumejendeka. Na amini kwa mba utafanya hivyo, baba, katika nina kwa su kristo. Amen. Mungu wa bariki sana. God bless you so much. Amen. Amen. Sasa, soma ambalo ninalo saizi. The subject which I have now, before I go to the things concerned of the wedding, but in some way it's concerned of the marriage. I want to talk about something which is known as the voice of the bride. I'm insisting the voice of the bride. Amen. Amen. I come with this uh, subject determined purposely. Amen. Amen. Knowing that uh, there is an idea which moves on that the bride should always be quiet. And only listening. She has nothing to say. Now we are showing from the prophet himself. That the bride has got a voice. Amen. Amen. And then we shall see what type of a voice it is. We know. We have one major prophet in an age. We know that we've been having seven messengers for the seven church ages. And we know that now various messages that have been sent forth throughout the seven church ages they were sent to them the angels to the churches that prevailed. Andika. Right. So, to whom it was written, it was the angel to that age. Not the people of that age. And to the angel of that age. It is to whom that is written to. So he is the one understanding what has been written for him. Because that message was directed to him. Amen. Amen. Now to every age. There is only one person. Which has got something to say. To the church. We do not have many people to speak to people to admit to the church. There is only one person to each age. Amen. Amen. One man message. Ni ujumbe wa mtu mmoja. Are we together? Lakini hiyo. But that. Bado nataka tuende ndani. I want to let us dig deep deep. Tuone ya kwamba. See that. Hili somo langu linawezaje kufiti hapa. How can my subject fit there? Kwamba kuna the voice of the bride. Ile sauti ya Bibi Harusi. Na wakati tunajua tuko na msemaji mmoja. Knowing we have only one spokesman. Amen. Amen. Ya naona mmetulia mko kimya. I can see you very attentive. Yaani yaani sio lazima watu waseme amina. It's not necessary that I should say amen. Ili kujua wako makini. Knowing that they follow you. Especially when I come with such a thing, it's it's must for God's children. Wow, it's suspicious. Wow, na chunguza itakuwa jikwa. 
What does he want to bring? Does he want to take the prophet out of the way? Amen. Amen. So, I am happy to be having a very careful church. Yes. Amen. Because you look uh, in, on your faces so careful. Listen, I just said one very famous person in, from Nigeria. After preaching the gospel for so many years, filled southern and southern in his church. He called on a minister's meeting. Called ministerial meeting. Like we a southern. Also, representative from Tanzania were there. And in that meeting, <laughs> so he announced. He has listened his uh, preaching for about uh, seven years before. He was so much uh, worried. Because things that have been teaching were not right. So he asked for forgiveness for teaching something which is not right. But now, which lie does he repent of that he taught? He is so sympathetic. He's, he feels sorry that he has been teaching that that Malachi 4, 5, 6 is, is concerned a gentile prophet. In other words, he feels sorry to teach that Malachi 4, 5, 6 is concerned with brother William Branham. He says, I am repenting for teaching you this thing. And the church was like confused. <laughs> but majority of them supported him. God bless you. He added more saying, more than that, I did another something wrong. Telling you that Revelation 10.7 is concerned of a gentle person. In other words, he's not concerned of William Marin Branham. And this message, the better how I know, stand on two feet. Malachi 4, 5, 6. The order send you the prophet Elijah. He comes to us as a prophet Elijah. And the second foot is the Revelation 10 7. When he fulfills that covenant of Adam, the ministry of the Son of Man. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now, these two main things, they are the basic of the whole message. Accepting the messenger of Malachi 4 and also recognizing that he has fulfilled the ministry of the Son of Man. That's where we first hold on. When somebody appears and says that's no right, I will oppose him to death. Hallelujah. Amen. So I do not want to talk more about that. Amen. Amen. But I want just to say. Amen. Amen. The prophet. The bride. The Holy Spirit. Everything should be allotted harmonly. Amen. I thank God that you have made it to church and you are here at church. This is the place where you can get revelation. This is God's perfect plan for you to be here at church. Amen. Amen. Listen. As my introduction, the prophet said, Well, Vema is always a as I have said before, I was happy when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The prophet says, I believe David made this statement once. Let us go into the house of the Lord. 
I don't know any sasa, this is the prophet sasa huyu ni nabii mwenyewe I don't know sijui any better place to be mahali pengine bora to be panapoweza kuwa do you je wewe unapajua than in the house of the lord kuliko mahali kuwepo nyumbani mwa bwana hakuna mahali pazuri sana pa kuwepo amen zaidi ya nyumbani mwa bwana no another better place outside the lord's house hiyo ni kwa mujibu wa nabii yangu that's according to my prophet hiyo ni kwa mujibu wa daudi that's to according to david the love of god Amen. Amen. Mahali pazuri kuliko pengine popote pa kuwa. A better place than any other to be. Sio kwenye picnic. Not on the mapumziko ya stare. Amen. Amen. Sio hata nyumbani. Not at home. Sio mahali pengine popote. Not any other place. Nyumbani mwa Bwana. It's in the house of the Lord. And you are in the house of the Lord. And when you make it to the house of the Lord, you will get out being blessed. Amen. Amen. You know the prophet tells us I laughed when I read that. that this Ahab. Ahab he was very loose. Look Barid alipoa vugu vugu. Just listen to what he said. Now, and so Jehoshaphat had seen. Sasa Jehoshaphat aliliona When his father looked to God. Wakati baba yake alipomtazama Mungu. That God blessed him. Mungu alimbariki. And he had seen that Ahab na ali, turned, from, uh, turned from God. Na alimwona Ahabu akijiepusha na Mungu. Because his wife kwa sababu mke wake didn't want him to go to church. Hakupenda kwenda kanisani. His wife mke wa Ahabu didn't want him Haku, hakutaka ahabu aende ibadani siku za Jumatano Amen <laughs> And so forth Na ibada kama hizo you know? unajua So they found out that he become a look Ndipo tunaona kwamba akafanyika wavugufugu Wish wish wa hovyo hovyo Mungu abariki sana Eh kumbe mke wa ahabu akutaka ahabu aende kanisani <laughs> Ahab's wife didn't want him make to church and Ahab became lukewarm. So be, uh, attending church makes you hot. Amen. Amen. We have a sermon here do not miss it. The voice of the bride. That is what I want to I want to talk about. Hicho ndicho nataka nikizungumze. Amen. Amen. Sasa tunakuja hapa Hey, this one will be a bit long but hili ni ndefu kidogo lakini asema we are in, we are in his sheepfold tupo ndani ya zizi lake and his pastures na tu katika ma, malisho yake but never his mouth lakini sio kwenye kinywa chake never in his, his mouth sio kwenye kinywa chake but what is in the mouth of the lord lakini kinywani mwa bwana kuna nini the word neno lipo ndani ya kinywa chake amen The word is in his mouth. Neno li katika kinywa chake. Matayo 4:4. But he answered and said. Ndipo akawajibu na kuambia. Imeandikwa. Man shall not live by bread alone. Mtu hataishi kwa mkate tu. But by the by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Lakini kwa kila neno litokalo katika kinywa cha Mungu. The word. Neno is supposed to be in our mouth. Linapaswa liwemo kwenye midomo yetu. Amen. Amen. The word is supposed to be in your mouth too. Neno linapaswa liwe kwenye midomo yetu pia. Amen. Amen. Now, sasa we know that the church is his body. Tunajua kanisa ndio mbili wake. It is here taking his place. Na lipo hapa linaendelea taking his place. Linachukua mahali pake. Amen. 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 Tunajua kwamba mtu hawezi kuishi kwa mkate tu. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of God's mouth. And he said the church is here as his body, taking his place. So it's supposed God's word to be in our mouth is as a church. When the, what, 
that when that word comes out of God's mouth kweli, indeed it comes out of the church's mouth all right Vema. what will be in the mouth of the church Tuna, nini kinahitajika mdomoni mwa kanisa uh, i am reading from nasoma kutoka kwenye the church ages book nyaka, kitabu cha nyakati za kanisa wewe usifikiri ni mawazo yangu don't think these are my ideas <laughs> What will be in the mouth of the church? Nini kitakuwepo kinywani mwa kanisa? Neno. The word. Neno. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. 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 Nitaruka baadhi ya mambo. I just keep some of the stuff. Okay. All right. The word has been put aside so God uh, so so God says. Neno limewekwa pembeni hivyo Mungu anasema. I am going against you all. Na si napingana na ninyi nyote. I will spew you out of my mouth. Nitawatapika mtoke kwenye kinywa changu. This is the end. Huu ndio mwisho. For seven out of seven ages. Kwa saba kati ya nyakati saba. I have seen nothing but men esteeming their own way above mine. Sijaona chochote isipokuwa wanadamu kuweka maneno yao juu ya neno langu. Yes, kukuza maneno yao juu ya la Mungu. Hapo ndiko kosa linapofanyikia. That's where we make mistake. So Even, at the end of this age mwisho wa hichi kizazi I am spewing you out of my mouth Ninawatapika kutoka kwenye kinywa changu It is over Imekwisha Imekwisha I am going to speak all right Nitaenda kusema vema Yes ndio I am here in the ministry of the church Nipo hapa katikati ya kanisa Again tena the ministry of the church Yupo katikati ya kanisa Amen Amen The amen of God Amina ya Mungu faithful and true mwaminifu na wakweli will, will reveal himself atajifunua yeye mwenyewe and it will be by my prophet na hiyo itafanywa na nabii wangu amen amen by my prophet itafanywa na nabii wangu oh yes ndio bwana that is so iko hivyo revelation 10:7 ufunuo 17 and in the days of the voice of the seventh messenger na katika siku za sauti ya malaika wa saba when he shall begin to sound atakapokuwa tayari kupiga baragumu the mystery of god should be finished siri ya mungu yapaswa kuwa imetimizwa as he has declared to his servants the prophets kama alivyotangazia watumishi wake hao manabii there it is hapo ndipo ilipo He is sending a vindicated prophet. Anamtuma nabii aliyethibitishwa. He is sending a prophet after almost 2000 years. Anamtuma nabii mmoja baada ya miaka kama 2000. He is sending someone who is so far from organization. Anamtuma mtu ambaye yuko mbali sana na madhehebu. Education. Yuko mbali sana na elimu. In the world of religion that as John the Baptist and Elijah of all. Na yuko mbali sana na ulimwengu wa kidini kama Yohana Mbatizaji na Elia wa kale. He will hear only from God. Yeye atasikiliza kutoka kwa Mungu tu. And he will have that say the Lord. Na atakuwa na hivi asema Bwana. And speak for God. Na atanena kwa ajili ya Mungu. Atanena kwa niaba ya Mungu. Amen. He will speak for God. Atanena kwa niaba ya Mungu. He will be God's mouthpiece. Atakuwa ni kipeo cha Mungu. God's mouthpiece. Kipeo cha mdomo kinywa cha Mungu. Amen. Amen. And he na yeye as it is declared in Malachi 4:6. Kama ilivyotangazwa kwenye Malaki 4:6. Will turn the hearts of the children back to the Ndiye atageuza mioyo ya watoto kurejea baba zao. You bring back the elect of the last day atawachukua wateule wa mwisho wa siku za mwisho and they will hear a vindicated prophet nao watamsikiliza nabii aliyethibitishwa give the exact truth atakayetoa ukweli halisi as it was with paul kama ilivyofanyika kwa paulo he will restore the truth atarejesha kweli as they had it kama ulivyokuwa and those elect na wale wateule with him pamoja naye katika siku ile will be the ones who truly manifest the lord watakuwa ndio kwa ukweli wanamdhihirisha bwana and be his body nao ndio mwili wa bwana watakuwa mwili wake amen and be his voice watakuwa sauti yake they shall be his voice watakuwa sauti yake 
and perform his works. Watafanya kazi zake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you see? Je, umeliona hilo? Amen. Amen. So these people, hawa watu, the bride, bibi harusi, will be his voice. Watakuwa sauti yake. Ah, tuta, tuta endelea kuona, endelea. Amen. We, we shall be seeing as we move on. Amen. Amen. All right. So, um, okay. Um, a momentary okay. But God sent Luther with the word. Lakini Mungu alimtuma Luther na neno. The, Luther, the Lutherans spoke for God. At that time, Waluteri walinena kwa niaba ya Mungu kwa wakati ule. The Lutherans spoke Wa, for God. Waluteri wa, at that time, walinena kwa niaba ya Mungu kwa wakati ule. Amen. Wale waaminiwa wakati ule ndio waliokuwa wasemaji wa Mungu. Amen. Amen. But they organized. Lakini wakafanyika dhahabu. And again, na kisha uh, tena, the pure word was lost for organization. Neno Safi likapotea kwenye dhahabu. Tends towards dogma and creeds. Baada ya kuingiza makanuni na mapokeo. And not a simple word. Na sio neno rahisi. They could no longer speak for God. Wasingeweza tena kunena kwa niaba ya Mungu. Then God sent Wesley. Ndipo Mungu akamtuma Wesley. And he was the voice of the word. Wesley alikuwa ndiye sauti ya neno in his day. Kwenye siku yake. The people who took his revelation from God Na watu waliochukua ufuno wake kutoka kwa Mungu become the living epistles walifanyika nyaraka zinazosomeka read and known of all men zilizo hai zikisomeka na watu wote for their generation wa kizazi chao when the methodists failed sasa wa methodists walipoanguka God, God raised up others Mungu aliwainua so, wengine so it has uh, gone on through the years. Basi imeendelea hivyo kwa miaka yote. Until in this day. Mpaka siku hii ya leo. Until in this day. Mpaka siku hii ya leo. There is again another people wapo, in the land. Wapo watu wengine duniani. Oh my. Hallelujah. Hadi siku hii. Amen. Kuna watu wengine tena juu ya uso wa nchi. There are other people in the land. Hallelujah. Amen. Who? Ambao under the your messenger chini ya mjumbe wao under the your messenger chini ya mjumbe wao will be the final voice watakuwa ndio sauti ya mwisho kwa kizazi cha mwisho glory as far as they are, they are under they are prophet alimladi wapo chini ya nabii wao as they are under they are messenger alimladi wapo chini ya mjumbe wao hallelujah hallelujah they are the final voice wao ndio sauti ya mwisho kwa kizazi cha mwisho the bride bibi harusi is the final voice ndio sauti ya mwisho kwa kizazi cha mwisho amen don't tell me she doesn't have nothing to speak Usiniambie kwamba sina kitu cha kunena. Bibi harusi hana cha kunena. Anacho. Kipo. It's she there. The final voice. Yeye ndiye sauti ya mwisho. Amen. 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 That is to say. Hiyo ni kusema kwamba they are the, they are the, the, the judges. Wao ndio mahakimu of this age. Wa kizazi chote hiki. Because when they speak. Kwa sababu wakisema lolote. It is over. Imeisha hiyo. Amen. Amen. Under the under your prophet ukiwa chini ya nabii wako whatever you speak chochote unachonena is the final voice hiyo ni sauti ya mwisho and the devil should accept that na lazima ibilisi aikubali hiyo sauti amen 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 when the bride comes to you when the bride comes bibi harusi anapokujia under his prophet akiwa chini ya bibi nabii wake akiwa na neno la nabii and you are sick na wewe ni mgonjwa and he tells you that anakuambia kwamba you are now sasa wewe well. umepona believe it liamini because it is the voice kwa sababu hiyo ndio sauti ya nabii it is the final voice ndio sauti ya mwisho amen don't, don't listen to the devil usimsikize nabii ibilisi when he comes again with anaporudi tena na siasa zake don't listen usimsikilize ibilisi tell him mwambie point blank point blank mwonyeshe wazi wazi that i, ha- I have kwamba nina the final voice sauti ya mwisho yours 
wewe ya kwako sio ndo ya mwisho sio ya juu kuliko zote sio amen amen ah. amen kwa ndugu hivi amwezi kuliona hilo sisi ndio sauti ya mwisho haleluya to this final edge kwa hichi kizazi cha mwisho no one has the voice hakuna mwenye sauti above the bride juu ya sauti ya bibi harusi when the bride is under his message huyu bibi harusi aliye chini ya mjumbe wake haleluya haleluya amen amen Yes sir. Ndio bwana. This is the prophet saying. Huyo ni nabii anasema ndio bwana. The church the church. Kanisa. And remember we are not the church. Kumbukeni sisi sio kanisa. The church. Kanisa. The church. Kanisa. Is already left behind. Limeshaachwa nyuma. The bride. Bibi harusi. Ni jambo tofauti lingine. The bride came out of the church. Bibi harusi ametoka kanisani. We are no longer in the church. Hatupo tena kanisani. We are the bride. Sisi ndio bibi harusi. And when we realize that we are the bride. Na tunapojitambua sisi ni bibi harusi. In this last age. Katika kizazi cha mwisho. It means that. Ina maana kwamba we are the last voice. Sisi ndio sauti ya mwisho. In everything. Kwenye kila kitu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bride take your place. Bibi harusi chukua mahali pako. Take your place, take your place pride. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, if there is anything, if I'm saying then that's done. As long as I say under my be prophet. Underline that. Pigia mstari. Under my prophet. Nikiwa chini ya nabii wangu. Mjumbe, chini ya mjumbe wangu. Tunapochukua Hivi asema Bwana kutoka kwenye message. When we take that says the Lord from ujumbe. Ah, we are the final voice. Sisi ndio sauti ya mwisho. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. We are the final voice. Sisi ndio sauti ya mwisho. Mungu ubariki sana. God bless you so much. So we are not the church. Kwa hiyo sisi si kanisa. We are the bride. Sisi ndio bibi harusi. And the prophet. Na nabii uh, one, one time he said. Wakati fulani aliwahi kusema. Just like Jesus did. Kama Yesu alivyofanya. Jesus wa, wa, the, there was a time Jesus called his disciples. Kuna wakati Bwana Yesu aliwaita wanafunzi wake. He said you are my friends. Akisema ninyi ni rafiki zangu. Ah, all right. <laughs> and now the prophet came. Sasa nabii akaja. And told us. Akatuambia. Of course he told me if he, it is me. Hata hivyo basi aliniambia mimi kama aliniambia mimi you are the bride wewe ndio bibi harusi hey what does it mean what does it mean hiyo ina maana nini you are the final voice wewe ndio sauti ya mwisho amen 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 Ebu mmoja asikudanganye kwamba huna chochote cha kusema. <laughs> Wewe ndio sauti ya mwisho. Amen. Ambina. Alright. Vema. Okay. Let so, us continue. Tuendelee. Um I'm trying to skip some. Najaribu tu eh, some notes. kuruka baadhi. Okay. So now listen to everyone. Sasa sikiliza kila neno. Catch it. Likamate. Listen to everyone. Sikiliza kila neno. Catch it. Likamate. When you listen to the word, unapolisikiliza neno, don't just listen. Usisikilize hivi hivi. Catch it. Likamate pia. Catch it. Likamate pia. And if you are taking uh, you are taking it on tapes. Kama umelisikiliza, umelichukua kwenye kanda. <laughs> And if you are taking taking it on tape kama unalichukua kulichukua kwenye kanda or anything au kitu chochote then you Bas. stay right with that tape teaching dumu na hilo fundisho la kanda stay right with that tape teaching udumu na hilo fundisho la kanda amen amen 
Don't say nothing. Usiseme kingine chochote. But what the tape says. Isipokuwa kile ambacho kanda imesema. So, Ivo. if the bride speaks only what the tape speaks. Kama bibi harusi anazungumza kile tu ambacho kanda inasema. She says only what the tape says. Anaongea tu kile ambacho kanda inaongea. She, be, she becomes anafanyika the the advanced step anakuwa ni kanda ya kimbele she becomes the step anafanyika kanda eh? anafanyika kanda you take it from the step unachukua kutoka kwenye kanda a gadget hiyo ni eh, eh, konge ka, ka, kachombo kachombo <laughs> that one hako it is just a gadget kale ni kachombo kanakoweka sauti you take it unachukua sasa ile when sauti ukiichukua you say what it is unaisema ilichosema that will be the final voice hiyo ndio sauti ya mwisho amen amen okay uh, all right sawa just say uh, just exactly what the tape says kusema kile kile kanda ilichosema See? No, no. Now because some of those things sasa, we are going to understand. Baadhi hayo mambo kwa sababu eh we are going to understand. Tutaenda tukaelewa. A whole lot about it about this now. Eh bado ya yote haya sasa. Why it is misunderstood? Kwa nini hayaeleweki? See? No, no. And you be sure. Na wewe ukiwa na uhakika. Just say what the text says. Sema tu kanda inavyosema. Amen. Amen. And you know He doesn't say. Na haijasema. Say. Sema. Only what the tapes say. Sema kile tu kanda pekee. The tapes. Kanda zote. Kanda nyingi. Kanda nyingi zilichosema. Amen. Anasema. Say only what the tapes say. Sema kile kanda imesema. One tape. Ni kanda moja. Amen. 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 And our messenger Na mjumbe wetu is that great tip. No. Is that great tip. Ndio ile kanda kuu. Our messenger mjumbe is wetu. our tip. Ndio kanda yetu. The messenger himself mjumbe mwenyewe is the tip. Ni kanda. Amen. Not the machine sio kale ka, ka, ka machine but, but a man. Lakini mwanadamu mtu Amen. 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 And you I am also a tip. Na mimi ni kanda. And you are also Na a wewe ni kanda. Amen. All right. Sawa. Ah, okay. Okay. And you be sure just uh, say just what the tape says. Hakikisha unasema kile kanda ilichosema. Don't say nothing else. Usiseme tofauti. Cause sababu I don't say Remember. Kumbuka. Listen to Sikili, this. Askiliza hapo. He is insisting emphasizing. Ana 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 anahimiza anasistiza. That we should only kwamba unatakiwa tu say what the tape says. Useme kanda ilichosema. And here na hapa he is saying this. Anasema. Si Unaona? Useme kingine. Unaona? Sababu I don't say that of my own. Sisemi yaliyo yangu. It means he is. Inamaanisha yeye naye ni kanda. So say only what I say. Kwa hiyo sema tu kile ninachosema. He is the tap. Yeye ni kanda. Our messenger is our. Mjumbe wetu ndiye kanda yetu. All right. Vema. He says. Anasema because i don't say that of my own sisemi aliyo yangu it is him that says it. ni yeye anayesema you see unaona and so many times na mara nyingi e, mchanganyiko kuji... people re- raise up and and say watu wanainuka na kusema well so and so vema ulisema hiki na hiki ulimaanisha hiki na hiki just leave it uh, just leave it the way it is liache kama lilivyo see unaona That's the way we want the Bible. Hivyo ndivyo tunaitaka Biblia. Just the, the just the way the Bible says it. Kama tu Biblia inavyosema. That's the way we want it. Na ndivyo tunavyoitaka hivyo hivyo. Just like that. Hivyo hivyo. Amen. Amen. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> Amen. 
when you, when you are reading the bible unaposoma biblia you are warned umeonywa to say only what the bible says sema tu kile ambacho biblia imesema eh is it je ni hivyo now do you take do, do we take the bible je sasa if tunachukua biblia na kusema and read it na kuisoma without opening a mouth, a mouth bila hata kufungua mdomo and allow the holy ghost na kumruhusu roho mtakatifu eh? ah and the bible and the message is the same thing. na ujumbe na biblia ni kitu kimoja right okay <clears throat> Don't put your own interpretation to it. Usiweke tafsiri yako. It is already interpreted, you see? Tayari imeshafasiliwa, unaona? Hii Biblia imeshafasiliwa. You, you don't put any interpretation. Huhitaji kuweka fasili yoyote. This Bible. Hii Biblia. Eh? Hey. And we come here we open. Na tunakuja hapa tunaifo eh na tufungue Isaya baada ya kusoma. Eh? Hey. We read it and, say, and we say na kusema nilo neno la bwana hey, that is the word of the lord that is catholicism huo ni ukatoliki <laughs> amen amen hallelujah hallelujah listen to this skiza hii hapa all right yeah i want you to see this nataka mlione hili Uh, this is also from question question and kutoka kwenye maswali na majibu says but since a child i have always known that there was a god tangu niko mtoto nimekuwa kila wakati nikijua yupo Mungu and lord there was something happened in my life na nilitambua kuna jambo fulani lilitukia maishani mwangu and that's beyond any question na hiyo ni kupita maswali yote ndugu yangu naona But let me say this. Hebu lakini niseme hili. That there will come. Kwamba utakuja. There will come a message. Utakuja ujumbe. There will come a message. Utakuja ujumbe. Ah, uh, mnajua hii. You know this was ni kwa ajili ya waefeso. Is for Ephesians. Hii ni kwa ajili ya waefeso. This is for Ephesians. Wakati wa kufundisha ndoa tutaongea na wote. <laughs> But when uh, during the officiating the wedding we will speak to the mass. Amen. Okay. Mtachanganya hapa hapa. So I'll mix in between them. <laughs> All right. I uh, okay. Um but But let me say this. Hebu niseme hili. That there will come. Kwamba utakuja. There will come a message. Ujumbe utakuja. And there will come a messenger. Na mjumbe atakuja. Amen. There will come a message. Utakuja ujumbe. There will come a message. Na mjumbe atakuja. I believe that if it is to be a man, na ninaamini kama inampasa awe ni mtu, it will be somebody after me. Atakuwa ni mtu baada ya mimi. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Okay. I believe that if it is to be a man, ninaamini kama inampaswa kuwa ni mtu, it will be a It will be somebody after me. Atakuwa ni mtu baada ya mimi. <laughs> and we have seen many 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 come. Na tumeona wengi wengi wakija wanadai. You're speaking about me. Hapa alinisema mimi. It is me. Ni mimi. It is me. Ndio mimi. Hmm. But look at this one. Lakini hebu liangalie hili. And see the uh, okay. See? Unaona? It will be somebody after me. Atakuwa ni mtu fulani baada yangu. It will be. Unaona itakuwa ni after it will be he paused a little bit. Hapo alipumzika. Baada akapumzika. Yeah. Then he said this. <laughs> But this message. Lakini huu ujumbe that I am preaching. Ambao ninauhubiri is the true message of this day. Ndio ujumbe wa kweli kwa siku hii. And it is the last message. Na ndio ujumbe wa mwisho. Allah. This man. Huyu mtu is prophesying anabashiri anatoa unabii <laughs> kuna mtu atakuja na ujumbe na atakuwa mjumbe amen amen amen, amen. somebody after him ba, mtu fulani baada yake and then again alafu hapo hapo tena 
He is saying, Anasema, this message that I am preaching, so the message is there already. Sasa ujumbe kumbe tayari upo. And the messenger is the one with the message. Na mjumbe ni mwenye ujumbe. So this message that I am preaching, sasa huu ujumbe ninao ubiri, it means, ina maanisha, I am the messenger, mimi ndiye mjumbe, and the message I, I, I am preaching. Na ujumbe ndio huu nao ubiri sasa. So I am the one to come. Kwa hiyo mimi ndiye yule ajaye. <laughs> Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. Amen. The, but this message that I am preaching. Lakini huu jumbe ninao uhubiri. Is the message uh, is the true message of this day. Ndio ujumbe wa kweli wa siku hii. And it is the last message. Nao ndio ujumbe wa mwisho. So if any prophet comes after him. Kwa hiyo nabii yote akija baada ya yeye. You have no message. Hatakuwa hana ujumbe. Because his message is the last. Kwa sababu ujumbe wa ndugu Branham ndio wa mwisho. Amen. If another messenger comes, he comes with what message? Politics, politics. Amen. Amen. But now see. Lakini angalia sasa. You see what I am doing. Unaona ninachokifanya? Brethren, you see what I am doing. Unaona ninachokifanya? I am what he was doing. Alikuwa anafanya nini? I am putting you all. Ninaweweka ninyi nyote. Mahali pale pale nilipo. Because Kwa sababu you are just as much into it as I am. Ninyi mko mnaf, mko sana kwenye hilo kama nilivyo. Na usika nao kama mimi ninavyohusika nao. Amen. You are ninyi ni the messengers wa jumbe. This same message. Wa ujumbe huu huu. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That is how God does things. Hivyo ndivyo Mungu anavyofanya vitu. He speaks as if he does as if he wants to. Anaenda anaongea kama nataka kwenda. Then you what, what what you have to do is to call him back. Wewe unachopaswa kufanya ni kumrejesha, kumuita arudi. Arudi. Kama wale wa wa nani? Emmaus. Wale wa Emmaus. Like those men of Emmaus. Yeah. When it was getting late, he was about to pass by. You say what they said? Making like he wanted to pass by. It's like saying there is another message coming, but I with a messenger. Amen. 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 It will come. Amen. Amen. But we are saying But this one which you are preaching This is the last one Welcome, welcome Come in please You have broke the bread in the same manner You are the same one We have identified you We have recognized you Amen Amen you shouldn't be deceived. Amen. 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 Yeah. Ndio. Mhm. Ngoja. Wait. Okay. What is the time? Mr. Gas. Sasa kucheleweshe. Naomba ni 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 kate hapo. Ujumbe bado na huu ni mrefu. Sauti ya bibi harusi. Ah. It's a long message. Lakini tulazimika tukate. But we will just break this message into portions. God only works. Ah okay. God only works through his church. Mungu hufanya kazi kupitia kanisa lake. Only. Pekee. God only works through his church. Mungu hufanya kazi kupitia kanisa lake tu. The church is God's agent. Na Kanisa ndio wakala wa Mungu. And remember this church. Na kumbukeni ile kanisa. I am quoting here is a church of the cap, capital letter with the capital. Sasa ninalinukua hapa nile kanisa lenye K kubwa. Maana yake meaning bibi harusi. Amen. Amen. The bride is God's 
agency. He said one place in gospel. I am the vine. Ye are the branches. The vine does not bear fruit. Na ule mzabibu hauzai matunda. He purges the branch. Wa wenye huchomoza matawi. And the branch bears fruit. Matawi ndio yanazaa matunda. So the church Hivyo is the branch that the Holy Spirit is working through. Ni tawi ambalo Roho Mtakatifu anatendea kazi. He speaks. Yeye hunena through kupitia pastor's lips. Mdomo wa mchungaji. This one. Huyu hapa. We shouldn't fool one another. Ati ubungo hie. If God wants to speak with the ubungo people. Amen. Amen. He wants to bring a, such a revelation to ubungo church. Maybe something to the general church. God has got his own order. You say, what if another preacher comes and preaches? Is it not God speaking to? Which preacher will come here unless the pastor of this place has invited him? And if the pastor sends him, then you should know it's the pastor who's responsible with the one which is going to be brought. So the Ubungo spokesman is named Shindano Shija. Even he's recognized up to heaven. No one else. If I invited here, God has used me marvelously. No, God used Shija so much. So you spoke. Amen. If at time I would take that line to the depth. Brother Branham condemned people who could invite a minister. Those people come and preach. Then later the church says, hey, that one preaches better than our pastor. That, Brother Branham says, that is a lie. But we don't have, have much time. He speaks through pa the pastor's lips. He works through his hands. Amen. 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 Now, Sasa. God fortified his army. Mungu alilizingira kiulinzi jeshi lake. Hallelujah. Mungu amelijengea ngome kanisa lake. Hallelujah. God has fortified his church. Mungu. God. Tuko pamoja. Jeshi lake. His army. Jeshi la Mungu linaishi kambini. <laughs> God's army is in the camp. And it is fortified. Nalo limejengewa uzio, ngome. What with? Na nini? Materials gani zimetumika kujenga hiyo ngome? Which materials have been used to fortify himself? Yeye mwenyewe. Mungu amelijengea ngome jeshi lake. God has fortified his army. Kwa materials gani? What with? Himself. Yeye mwenyewe. Amen. Himself. Yeye mwenyewe. Eh? Eh? Himself. Yeye mwenyewe. Now listen. Sasa skiza. Himself yeye mwenyewe in the form katika umbo of prophet, la prophets manabi apostles mitume teachers walim pastors wachungaji that is the fortification hiyo ndio ngome hiyo ndio ngome the fortress ngome imara around the army ilio izunguka jeshi la bwana five fold ministry zile huduma tano and i would like to say this nami ningependa niseme hivi it is not Five fold ministries. Sio huduma mbali mbali tano. No. Hapana. It is five fold ministry. One ministry. Ni huduma moja yenye uh, namna tano. Yeah. And that ministry. Na hiyo huduma is the ministry of Jesus Christ. Ni huduma ya Yesu Kristo mwenyewe. But he works through a, an Lakini apostle, anafanya kazi kwa kutumia mtume, mwinjilist, teacher, mwalimu, prophet, nabii, pastor, mchungaji. 
It is himself. Ni yeye mwenyewe. His own ministry. Ni huduma yake mwenyewe. It is not the fivefold ministry. Sio zile huduma tano. Tano kwa maana ya tano mbalimbali. Amen. It is one ministry. Ni huduma moja. Amen. Amen. We, with five branches. Ikiwa na matawi yake matano. Yes. That's it. Is. It's the ministry of Jesus Christ himself. You say five ministries have failed. Do you know what you mean? Do you know what you mean? That Jesus Christ has failed. He will never fail. Yes, he will never fail. Amen. God now God fortified his army. Sasa Mungu kulijengea ngome jeshi lake. Na kwa nini? Himself. Anajijengea kwa kutumia yeye mwenyewe. In the form of prophets. Katika namna ya manabii, mitume, teachers, walimu, pastors. wachungaji. What did he do? Alifanya nini? What was God doing? Mungu alikuwa anafanya nini? Listen. Sikiliza. Did you ever think what that officers officers of the church is? Umewahi kufikiri hizo ofisi za kanisa ni kitu gani? It is God's dress. Hilo ni vazi la Mungu. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ukiziondoa unamchania Mungu nguo. If you take them out then you are splitting God's garment. Ukizitukana unamwambia Mungu ajapendeza. If you are insulting them you telling God that it doesn't look good. Amen. Ukizidharau if you despise them. Yaani Mungu Mungu kaulambia. Just imagine God in his good looking. And then you are saying You say ah, but, but, but this side is too long uh, He won't be rejoicing He won't be happy with you The issue is Them true five They are the true garment of God And even Satan went and made his own piece of clothes. Do away with them. Do away with them. There is a true garment. God does not walk naked. His dress is five ministers. With his ministry with five officers. That is God's dress. How can you take that away? <laughs> Amen. 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 It's God's dress. He don't even wear a mask. Inside the dress, an apostle, a prophet, yes. Nabi, monaji. No, no. Manaona kimbele. Before Satan ever gets to it, Kalba Shetana Jafkia told it. What is it? God dressed me up in his church. Amen. Amen. These offices. His office is God's dress wear. Amen. Now, is it a wedding or what it is? <laughs> <laughs> Do away with the wedding things we are on Ibada ya Jumapili. Eh. Amen. Amen. Ndio. Goja sasa. Wait now. Eh, hii nzuri. This this is good. Hii <laughs> nzuri. Amen. Right. Amen. Paul had to say to those who claimed another revelation. Paulo alipaswa azungumze na wale ambao walidai ufunuo mwingine. What? Nini? Came the word of God out of you. Neno la Bwana lilitoka kwenu lini? Or came it unto you only? Au lilikuja wewe tu? The evidence of the spirit filled Christian believer Ushahidi wa Mkristo aliyejazwa na roho is not to produce is not to produce the truth. Sio kuzalisha au ku eh, sio kuzalisha neno. Well, neno. But to receive the word. Lakini kulipokea neno. And to believe na kuliamini and to obey. Na kulitii. 
Have you not seen Revelation 22:17? Megundua kwenye ufunuo 22:17. And the spirit roo na bibi spirit and the bride na roo na bibi harusi wanasema come njo and let him that heareth say na yeyote asikae na aseme come njo see unaona the bride speaks bibi harusi ananena maana sio mimi mnaweka sema wewe ndio unasema bibi harusi anasema your prophet is now nabi wako ndo anaye nena sasa hivi amen 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 the See the bride no, no. speaks. Bibi harusi ananena the same word. Neno hilo hilo as does the spirit. Kama roho anavyosema. She is a wed bride. Yeye ni bibi harusi aliyefanyika neno. Proving she has the spirit. Akithibitisha kwamba anaye roho. In every church here you Kwenye kila nyakati ya kanisa tunasikia. He that has an ear. Yeye asikiae. Let him hear what the spirit says. Yeye aliye nasikio, hebu naasikie roho ayaambia makanisa. The spirit gives the word. Roho hutoa neno. If you have the spirit you will hear the word. Kama unaye roho utalisikiliza neno la kizazi chako. As those two Christians took the word for their age. Kama wale wa Kristo wa kweli walivyolichukua neno kwa kizazi chao. Did you get did you get that last thought? Je, umelipata hilo wazo la mwisho? Eh, hey, kuna wazo hapo. Amen. I repeat. Narudia. Every church age ends with the same admonition. Sasa, salamu za kila mwisho wa kanisa inaishia vile vile. He that he he that hath an ear. Yeye aliye nasikia. Let him. Hebu na an individual. Let him. Hebu na yeye mtu binafsi. Amen. Let him an individual. Ni mtu binafsi. Hear what the spirit says to the church. Asikie kile roho ayaambia makanisa. Roho anaposema When the spirit speaketh ananena na mtu huyo. He speaks to an individual. Huyo mwenye sikio ni wangapi? That who has got an ear, how many are they? Amen. Mtu mwenye sikio kwa kila kizazi ni wangapi? To each if every age someone with an ear is only one. Mwenye sikio kwa kila kizazi ni wangapi? Him that has an ear to every age, how many are they? Hakusema wao walio na masikio. He didn't say them who had ears. Yeye aliye na sikio. He who? Nabii anasema. The prophet says, swala la mtu binafsi. The spirit gives the word. Roho hutoa neno. He has the truth for each age. Anao kweli kwa kila kizazi. Each age has had its own elect. Na kila kizazi kina wateule wake. And that elect group always had the word. Na hilo kundi la wateule wakati wote walisikia neno. And received it. Na wakalipokea. And proved it. They had the seed in them. Wakathibitisha walikuwa na mbegu ndani yao. Yohana 8:47. And he that is of God heareth God's words. Yeye aliye wa Mungu huyasikia maneno ya Mungu. Ye, therefore hear them not. Sasa wale wasio wake ninyi hamuyasikii because they are not of God. Ninyi hamuyasikii maneno yake kwa sababu sio wa Mungu. They refused the word Jesus. Walilikataa neno ambaye ni Yesu. And his words for this they are dead. Na maneno yake kwa siku zake. But the true seed. Lakini ile mbegu ya kweli. Received the word. Walikubali neno. Because they were of God. Kwa sababu walikuwa ni wa Mungu. Amen. 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 Tuko pamoja? Are we together? Tuko pamoja? Are we together? Nitaacha. I will skip some. Amen. I will skip some. Mambo. Some of the things. Amen. Amen. Lakini ngoja niwasome kitu kimoja ambacho nilikigusa pale afu kukatiachia njia. Let me just read for you something which I just touched and then I left it. Yeah. Ndio. Eh. Kama kama nitaiona in fa- in case i find it if i don't na kama sitaiona so bad it's no bad bana wabariki sana may god bless you so much sorry nitani samee tu nitafute you bear with me i'm just trying to search it out this is very important ni la muhimu mno itasaidia kidogo it will help a little bit okay sawa this is uh, ni ujumbe wa kama ni nani ni 
18 paragraph 85 na ni tarehe 18 mwezi wa pili mwaka 61 ile paragraph ya 85 sitaki ujenge imani yako juu ya mwinjilisti i don't want you to build your faith on an evangelist natulia kidogo i'm pausing a little bit Sitaki ujenge imani yako juu ya mwinjilisti. I do not want you to build your faith on an evangelist. Nataka imani yako ijengwe juu ya mchungaji wako mwenyewe. I want your faith to be built upon your own pastor. It is not me speaking. Sasa si mimi ninayesema ni Mungu. Nabii. Nabii, the prophet. Yeye ndiye mtu atakaye kuongoza kutoka hapa na kuendelea. He is the one that he will lead you through. Unaona? Do you see? Amen. Amen. Bwana ubariki sana. May God bless you so much. Bwana ubariki sana. May God bless you so much. Nimekatisha. So I just cut it short. Sauti ya bibi harusi. The voice of the bride. Lakini naamini ninyi nyote. But I believe that all of you. Meona bibi harusi anacha kusema. Have seen that the bride has got something to speak. Lakini anasema nini? But what does she speak? Anasema kile kilichosemwa. She speak that which was already spoken with his messenger. Na anaposema hicho. When she says so. Sasa yeye ni sauti ya mwisho kwa Then she becomes the final voice to the final age. Nafikiri tukishika hilo linatosha. I believe if we if we on that that's enough. Ukiliona tu mjumbe wako amesema If you have seen my messenger say speak it boldly because it is vindicated from above That's the final voice There is no any other voice above that Amen Amen